Hello, my name is Travis Monk. This is one of a series of videos involving genetics. This video will focus on the structure of DNA, the structure of RNA, and different types of RNA that are found within the cell. The main classifications of nucleic acids that we'll be discussing, DNA and RNA, are shown at the top of this slide. Many of the structures that we will be discussing are also shown here. Earlier in the year, we discussed the structure of different types of biomolecules, so a bit of this information may look familiar. DNA and RNA, as mentioned on the first slides, are both types of nucleic acids. Since they are similar molecules, they are made up of similar monomers, or subunits, that are called nucleotides. Each nucleotide, an example of which is shown on this slide, is made up of three different groups. A phosphate group, shown on the left, a nitrogenous or nitrogen-containing base, shown on the right, and a sugar, either deoxyribose or ribose, depending on the different type of nucleic acid that's being described, on the bottom. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. The D in DNA stands for the sugar, deoxyribose. RNA stands for ribonucleic acid, and the R stands for ribose, the sugar that's found in this particular biomolecule. While the previous slide depicted a nucleotide in itself, DNA is made up of many of these nucleotides that are chemically bonded together. DNA as a whole looks a little bit like a ladder. This ladder happens to make one complete twist about every 10 or so nucleotides in length. Making up the rungs of this ladder are the nitrogenous bases. The sides of the ladder are made up of alternating phosphate groups and deoxyribose, the sugar that's contained in DNA. In the picture on this slide, the blue pentagons represent the sugar, deoxyribose, while the black dots represent phosphate groups. The different colored rungs represent different nitrogen-containing bases. Computers use binary code, a whole bunch of zeros and ones, to contain all the information that they do. Your body codes for all the information that it does using four different nitrogenous bases in DNA. Guanine, or G, adenine, A, cytosine, C, and thymine, T. The top two bases, adenine and guanine, contain two rings and are referred to as purines. The bottom two bases, cytosine and thymine, contain one ring and are referred to as pyrimidines. I keep purines and pyrimidines straight in a couple of ways. First, the word purine is smaller than the word pyrimidine, but the size of the molecules are opposite. Second, the phrase pure as gold can help you remember that purines, hence the pure, are adenine, hence the as, both start with an A, and guanine, hence the gold, both start with a G. The four bases of DNA pair in a particular way. G, guanine, always pairs with C, cytosine, and A, adenine, always pairs with T, thymine. This complementary base pairing allows DNA to be copied quite easily and reduces the chance of mistakes being made in the DNA code when DNA is replicated. Nucleic acids are tremendously large in size and contain an absurd amount of information in a very small space. The way that this is possible is exhibited on this slide. The structure of DNA is shown on the top left as an entire chromosome. Each arrow on the slide indicates what things would look like if you magnified further and further. DNA is highly supercoiled. There are coils upon coils upon coils. In addition, DNA is wrapped around proteins called histones, further reducing the amount of space that things take up. Virtually every cell in your body contains about 3 billion nucleotides that code for what you are. DNA and RNA, again, are both nucleic acids. As a result, they have a good deal in common. There are some significant differences, however, that are worth noting. First, while DNA is a double-stranded twisted ladder or twisted helix, the RNA is a single-stranded twisted ladder or twisted helix. Second, the sugar found in DNA is deoxyribose, while RNA contains the sugar ribose. Another significant difference between DNA and RNA is that there's only one form of DNA that's typically found in cells, while there are three different forms of RNA that are worth mentioning, which are mRNA, rRNA, and tRNA. mRNA stands for messenger RNA. Messenger RNA is named the way it is because it carries the code, or the message, of DNA from the nucleus to the cytoplasm, where it is used. tRNA stands for transfer RNA. 
It acts as a link between the nucleic acid, or DNA code, and the amino acid sequence that's being assembled into a protein. It transfers amino acids and the code within the cell. RRNA stands for ribosomal RNA. Ribosomes read the mRNA sequence and act as a protein assembly line. All three of these forms of RNA, as well as their uses, will be described in later videos on replication, transcription, and translation. That is the end of this video summarizing the structure of nucleic acids. If you are interested in learning about any other concepts relating to genetics or any other themes of biology, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.